my next video for hip kit club today i am working with december kids they just arrived i know it's january uh, but uh, it will be fun to create christmas uh, layouts out of the christmas photos taken like a week ago usually it takes me a year to come back to know uh, to the pictures from the last christmas and today I will use kind of a fresh one. So I have fresh memories, fresh journaling, everything is like, you know, <laughs> sharp, clear in my head. Mm, I cut out this uh, Joy uh, title. It had two uh, snowflakes, but I cut them out. So... Um, uh, because I didn't want to adhere this uh, winter mood, I just wanted this joy word. And uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm I'm run out of big <laughs> foam uh, 3D squares, so I decided to use uh, a pieces of cardboard. So I had to back the cut file. I wanted it to be a little bit uh, dimensional. Uh, it's one of the free cut files for December. Kimberly and Kim did a fantastic job providing you so many free cut files. Uh, so you really have a lot to choose from. And I will be using two pictures. I have to uh, tell you a little bit about the pictures so you can understand <laughs> the title of this layout. Each year we try to make some pretty Christmas photos with presents, with Christmas tree. So, you know, uh, I would have something to scrap <laughs> next year. Uh, I always think of that. Each occasion is a good occasion to snap a few pictures for my project, right? I think every scrapbooker can relate to this. So I asked my husband, who is quite good in making pictures, uh, we have you know this big camera uh, so we have everything in technical uh, issue we need but we don't have a perfect models <laughs> sadly I have two pretty girls so I would I should have have beautiful pictures but not my uh, daughters uh, make silly faces or like a board faces sometimes they cry that they have to stand and pose to their mommy and my younger daughter this year just you know went to another level of posing in each Christmas photo she looks like Grinch I asked my husband to shoot like 100 pictures so I will be able to pick 20 of them. You know, I am not uh, cheating myself that all the pictures will be perfect. But nope, this year I have zero, zero pictures of them together with, you know, those faces you can really uh, scrapbook. <laughs> So uh, each year I am also making a calendar with pictures of my girls for each month is a new picture and this is a gift for uh, my parents and my parents in law. Uh, in law. Uh, so I usually give them uh, this on Christmas or just after the Christmas because I want to include the Christmas pictures and I didn't have any Christmas photo to choose from this year. Um, I thought I will uh, try to, you know, pierce, pierce, oh my, oh my god, I forgot the word, <laughs> pursue them to make uh, another photo session, but nope, they were really, really not cooperative, so I have uh, Grinch pictures, and this is all about, uh, this is everything this layout is about, about Grinch pictures. Uh, I know the title is Christmas Joy, but when you see the pictures and when you see the face of my younger daughter, you can clearly say it wasn't a joyful moment for her. <laughs> so it's a kind of irony. And uh, okay, let's go back to the process. Uh, I glued down the big joy. I added a Christmas. So I have a Christmas joy title. And I also added this cute Santa. It's from exclusive ephemera pack that is included uh, into this uh, month uh, kits. Uh, almost everything in December is uh, exclusive. Also those those ornaments I am adding right now. I think they will look cute, uh, kind of a hanging uh, on the string. So I, I attached the a baker swine uh, string and I have like, you know, two compositions containing of those ornaments. 
uh, one in the upper side, one uh, looking like it's handling from the word joy. And this Christmas alphabet is uh, from Pink Fresh Studio Christmas Collection. I don't recall the name right now, but it's all in the description of the kids. So you can easily find it on uh, HipKit Club uh, site. And uh, after I embellished um, the page with ornaments, I am looking for uh, matching elements in this exclusive uh, ephemera set. And this is something I usually do. I pick elements that might work and I put everything uh, else aside. And then I pick from the, you know, this narrow group I already have. It's much easier for me than uh, for each ephemera going through my uh, stash. I'm also using um, exclusive chipboard stickers. Uh, they are awesome and I love how they look. Um, I chose those. I think they are poison, poisentas, poison. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm terrible in uh, Christmas naming in English. Um, poisentas. I don't know. You know those Christmas flowers, the red ones. Uh, so I decided to uh, add a few of them. Uh, I am adding elements over the joy uh, word, but I am careful not to cover too much so the word will be still uh, clear you know um, sometimes you don't have to cover much and uh, the word will be like you know hard to read and sometimes you can add a lot of embellishments and the word will be still clear so you have to you know balance it and be sure that you look at it and can clearly say what is written out there sorry for my voice it's Early in, early in the morning, I am, uh, you know, uh, trying to uh, get used to, uh, no, I'm trying to use the silence in the house to record the voiceover. And I also took a white, uh, white gel pen uh, to add kind of a stitching around the word joy. It's not visible right here, but I think it will be visible on the pictures that are included at the end of the video. And my final touches is adding those super cute uh, wood veneer, wooden buttons. Oh my God, I, I haven't waken yet, sorry. I'm talking like to myself, <laughs> sorry. And we also had a lot of um, puffy stickers in those sets, so I am adding bits and pieces here and there. Uh, this is usually where I add uh, enamel dots, but this time I am not using enamel dots, I am using tiny puffy stickers because I have plenty to choose from. And the real final step is adding red splatters because, you know, I like a little bit of mess. I am using a Heidi Swap Miss, it's called Cherry something. I am not sure if they are, uh, you know, manufactured right now or they are discontinued, I don't know. But I really like this color. And here are the close-ups. Uh, thank you for watching. Check the description box for the links to the kids. And see you soon on the next video. Bye-bye.